Okay guys, hope you're amazing. Today we're gonna speak about a really interesting subject about women. When women's training and when guys training, there's two different things that play a big role to who is gonna achieve the best results in the end. Why I'm saying that is because, first of all, guys, 365 days, we're exactly the same. No changes. Now, women, when they're training, they have so many different weeks that they can train better, some other ones. So what I mean by that is the menstrual cycle. So women have menstrual cycle, we don't. So for us, it's the same. For them, it's totally different. And that's why I'm gonna go into it and I'm gonna explain you quite simply the things that you need to take in consideration when you're training and help you achieve the results in the long run. Women, you have your first and second week. That's your follicular phase. Follicular phase usually is your strong week. Then you have ovulation in the middle. 14th usually is the ovulation. That's the best spike of testosterone. That's the best time that you can hear your best numbers in the gym. Personal, personal best. Then you have the luteal phase, which is the third and fourth week. The third and fourth week usually is when you have more cravings, you're more bloated, uh, you require more calories. That's another thing that you have to remember. You require more calories. You'll be a little bit more heavier than you will be on the first and second week. So if you want to see your progress and how well you're doing it, it's always a good idea to check your first week of, let's say, May to the first week of June. This is how you're gonna check the best progression. If you try to check the first week of May to the third week of May, it's not the same. It's just two different periods. So you cannot compare yourself from first week to third week. Now, when you're in the first and second week, this is when you're gonna train the best, okay? This is where you're gonna have the most energy to do things. And this is the time that you have to keep your calories quite strong and stay in calorie deficit. Now, when we go to the third and fourth week, your body requires more calories. So it would be a good idea to increase your calories and just stay on maintenance. On the first and second one, we still stay in calorie deficit. So we have a little bit less calories than our maintenance. So on the third and fourth week, we should stick to maintenance stick to that and not feel so tired and binge on that period the third and fourth week another thing that you need to take into consideration when you're in that period third and fourth week you should focus high volume dense food that's fruit have two three fr fruits that will help you fill you up is high volume low in calories that will help you no binge and not trying to have something unhealthy uh, and obviously because we're maintaining the calories on that period that will help you keep the progression going. Training wise, when you're in the first and second week, you're most likely to hit the best numbers, obviously, and you can hit compounds and hard training. You can be able to train really, really hard. Now, when you're in the third and fourth week, it's totally different. You have a lot of high risk of injury and dislocations. So that's why you should be able to stick to more body weight exercises and less intensity. Still achieve the results that you want. I hope you, I hope you make it easier to understand how a menstrual cycle works and hopefully it helps you the way you train. And this is menstrual cycle for women, female fat loss, and I hope it helps you. If you have any questions, give me a shout and we can go through them together. Peace and love, Ramos.